and during your wedding reception. Welcome to another fun episode of Funke Saves. Before the wedding reception, there's so many things that you can do to make it fun for your friends and family, and even for yourself. The pre-wedding photo shoots. Nowadays, pre-wedding photo shoots have become so creative. People are traveling to Dubai, people are having their pre-wedding photo shoots on the roads, all over the place. In fact, people are having themed pre-wedding photo shoots. So from vintage pre-wedding photo shoots to one that we see pre-wedding photo shoots. Something I always like everybody to put at the back of their mind whenever I'm speaking is that you can make your wedding your own. You do not have to have a pre-wedding photo shoot. There's no law that says you must have. But it's just a fun way of creating memories for yourself and your spouse. Another fun thing you can do is the pre-wedding video. You can do it in different ways. You can have a docu story where you get your friends involved. You can theme the pre-wedding video. Or you can even just have a simple pre-wedding video where people talk about you guys, how you met, where you met, and make it creative. So for example, you can have a pre-wedding video shoot where you theme it James Bond. Yes, Thriller. Or Michael Jackson. Another fun thing you can have before you wedding is, of course, the engagement dinner or the rehearsal dinner. The engagement dinner or the rehearsal dinner allows you to bond with your friends, your family, those of your friends that are flown in from whatever location they've come. You can be as intimate as you want with the pre-wedding dinner. I would advise couples that, have, that are going to have large weddings to make sure they have the pre-wedding dinner. Because at the wedding, when your wedding is large, it's not really easy to create intimacy with your friends. But when you've had a, your dinner, you can share all your memories, all the little secrets that you don't want the whole world to hear on the wedding day can be shared at the pre-wedding dinner. Now, let's go to the wedding day itself. <laughs> this is the part that I know. This part is all about having fun. Even if your wedding is large, you can have fun. First of all, you can have a dance off. The dance battle of life. You can have it. The groomsmen and the bridesmaids have a dance off, and the bride and the groom have the mega duper dance off. You can also have a time when the bride and the groom surprise themselves with a dance. So the bride and the bridesmaids can actually go and choreograph a dance that the groom doesn't know about. Or the groom does it and the bride doesn't know and he surprises her on or him on the wedding day. Another fun thing you can do is play some games. Play some lovely games. There's the shoe game now that people are playing where they ask the bride and the groom questions and they want to know if they would do something first. And do they agree? It's always fun. In fact, we learn so many things on the day of the wedding when we organize that. Another fun thing you can also do at your wedding is to create some special effects. You can have sparklers, bubbles, smoke effects on the day. You can actually even create a wedding out of a wedding. You can also have like a trivia game. There could be a trivia game for the guests. The guests can win something on the day. Another fun thing that you can do for your wedding is of course to get guests come in and hashtag your name. So people will hashtag the name, it's all over the social media, anything about the wedding it will trend on that day and it's all about you. Another fun way or another fun thing you can do at your wedding is to have guest performances, have guest artists come and perform, duets or solo performances. They can perform when you're dancing in, they can perform doing your first dance, they can perform also when your friends are doing the after party. Another fun way <laughs> that you can make your wedding very much, so much fun is to have a fantastic, fabulous after party. When the parents have gone, though nowadays they don't go, they stay at the party, but just in case they haven't gone or when they think they want to go, you can create in, in, introduce some elements, have some nice glasses, some lovely branded monogram face caps, some glow in the dark props that people can put on the dance floor. You know, just get people rocking and just dancing. Dancing, dancing, and music. Another way that you can create and introduce some fun elements, but this one will also be very emotional, is to appreciate your parents. Appreciate your parents. 
appreciate your bridesmaids, appreciate your groomsmen. Before the wedding, you can give them little gifts. During the wedding reception, you can give them little gifts. On the day of the wedding, you can thank your mom and your dad by giving them lovely bouquet of flowers. You can actually, if, you know, one thing is that people will usually say that the groom will make the response, will say it in his speech. Sometimes it's not as affectionate. Sometimes people are not even listening. But you can imagine bringing out your parents, giving them a lovely bouquet, writing a little note oh, for them. Even giving them a little present, they will appreciate it. What fun way that people are sort of introduced, you know, people had introduced a while ago, but now it's not really becoming a trend anymore. And it's, sometimes it can be a bit cheesy. He's dancing with your dad. Or the, the, the groom dancing with his mom, or the bride dancing with her dad. It's another fun way of introducing appreciation and making it lively for everyone. You can actually even choreograph a dance step with your dad. Or dance to his favorite music. It, it could be any of that. There's nothing that says that adding elements of fun into your wedding has to break the bank. And there's nothing that says that you must have those elements of fun. It's not compulsory. Everybody is different. Everybody has different personalities and everybody wants to achieve different things at their wedding. It's all about you. It's all about what you dreamt of all your life. And it's all about how you want the day to go. So thanks for watching another fun fun, fun, fun episode of Funke Says. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the link below or following me on all other social media platforms.